Well Testing Layout This module covers the essential aspects of well testing layouts, providing learners with a solid understanding of how well testing operations are physically arranged on site. It introduces the general layout concept and explains how to interpret standard layout diagrams. The module also differentiates between onshore, land, and offshore layout configurations, highlighting their unique requirements and challenges. Additionally, it presents key layout rules and best practices to ensure safety, efficiency, and compliance during well-testing operations. By the end, participants will be able to read and apply layout diagrams in real-world testing scenarios. The well-testing layout is a representation of the individual pieces of equipment arranged to facilitate the production of the well at the surface. In this diagram, you can identify the names and positions of the various pieces of surface equipment that make up the surface well testing setup. Each component plays a crucial role in ensuring the safe and efficient testing and production of the well, from measuring flow rates to handling produced fluids. The layout diagram serves several important purposes in well testing. It defines which pieces of surface testing equipment have to be used. It identifies where the equipment is located in accordance to classified zones and recommended distances. It illustrates the sequence in which the equipment is connected. It shows the general piping with vent lines layout, ESD, and airlines. The layout diagram varies according to location, land or offshore operation, and well conditions, including sand production, flow rate and pressure, presence of corrosive fluids, H2S, CO2, and acid, and effluent properties, oil properties, and hydrate formation. Onshore or Land Layout Diagram In onshore rigs, the placement of various equipment around the wellhead and testing area is crucial for safety and operational efficiency. Oil and Gas Pits Both the oil and gas pits must be located approximately 300 feet away from the wellhead and testing area. Additionally, there should be a 300-foot separation between the two pits to minimize risks. Oil burners, two units. Both oil burners must be positioned about 150 feet from the wellhead and testing area, with the burners placed on opposite sides. Vertical gas flare, one unit. The vertical gas flare should be located around 300 feet from the wellhead and testing area to ensure proper safety measures are in place for gas combustion. These distance requirements are designed to enhance safety and reduce the risk of accidents by maintaining proper spacing between equipment and hazardous areas. Nowadays, burners are more frequently used than burning pits on land, for both safety and environmental reasons. The lines connecting to the oil and gas pits, burners, or flare must be properly secured and anchored to the ground to prevent them from whipping or becoming a safety hazard. This is critical to avoid any movement that could lead to damage or accidents. Tubing is typically used for flare lines and vent lines, as it is durable and capable of handling the pressures and conditions present during well testing operations. Crossover connections are necessary between tubing and well test piping. These provide the proper interface between different piping systems and ensure safe, leak-free connections. Offshore Layout Diagram Some offshore rigs are equipped with permanent piping as part of the rig's infrastructure to facilitate seamless connections between various pieces of equipment. These permanent piping systems help streamline the setup and operation of well testing procedures. Generally, permanent piping is available between the rig floor and the surface well testing area, as well as between the surface well testing area and the booms area. This permanent piping can be used if it meets the required industry pressure safety precautions, ensuring that the system is capable of handling the pressures involved in the operation while maintaining safety standards. By utilizing permanent piping, offshore rigs can reduce the time and effort needed for setup, while ensuring a more efficient and safe flow of fluids between the different operational areas. Layout General Rules Placing the choke manifold on the rig floor limits the length of high-pressure piping, gives more accurate wellhead pressure and temperature, and reduces the pressure drop between the flow head and the choke manifold. The piping between the flow head and the choke manifold is called flow line. The flow line must be flexible on all floater rigs, and it is recommended on all other fixed rigs. Offshore, two burners mounted on booms, one on each side of the rig. One burner or the other is used, depending on the wind direction. Burners require compressed air to properly burn the oil and propane is necessary to supply the pilot lights for the burners. 
A water pump is used to inject water into the oil flame at the burner and to create a water screen behind the burners, which reduces heat radiation. Whenever H2S presence is expected, gas shall be vented to flare. Correct piping size prevents very high fluid velocities, large pressure losses, and overpressurization of the equipment. In some tests, the effluent may be injected into a pipeline or production line. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.